Welcome back to Grill Seekers. We're firing up the fun, black and gold, with the passion of being a Boston Bruins fan. Here's your host, Michael Pettit. It's the celebration of the black and gold, and the great thing about being a Bruins fan is sometimes you get to get up close and personal with some of your favorite players. And with me now is the big guy, Mr. Sean Thornton. How we doing, big guy? Really good, thank you. Very nice. And with me now is Kyle? Lombardo. See, <laughs> Kyle Lombardo. You feeling pretty good right now? Yeah. You play hockey? Yep. What position do you play? Right wing. Right wing. Who's to the right right now? Sean Thornton. Sean Thornton. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sign. Take over, big guy. You want me to take over? Just like that, just throw me on the spot. Absolutely. Like You're a goal scorer? Yeah. That's where all the money is. I fight for a living, so that's why I don't have any. That's good. How many did you get last year? Um, last year, I think I got like 24. That's more than I've ever had. Good stuff, good stuff. When you go to the Bruins, uh, when you go experience the games with your, with your dad and your friends, uh, what's most exciting about being at the at the Bruins game? Um, just seeing them score goals and just watching the game. Them scoring goals and 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 someday do you hope to be a uh, a Bruins? Yeah. Would that be pretty cool? Yeah. Well, I think Sean can kind of tell you how maybe make it happen. Ah, uh, have fun. I think that's my advice to you the whole time. I still have fun. That's my biggest thing. Playing hockey is just have fun. Work hard and have fun. The rest will take care of itself. Work hard and have fun, and we're in uh, in Kyle's basement right now, which his dad has built, and this is the ultimate uh, kid slash manland experience. Let's kind of have a look, see with uh, with Kyle Lombardo and Mr. Sean Thornton. Check it out. It's time for Manland, brought to you by Men. I got this stick at Game 5, it's so long gone days from the Philadelphia Flyers. You signed that, I think, too. I hope so. Yeah, there I am, right there. Looks like the one up there. Oh, yeah. Nice. Good stick. Bobby Orr. Good man. Signed yours. Played in Oshawa. Do you know where Oshawa is? It's my hometown. That's where he was before he played with the Bruins. And yeah, this is Ray Bork. Getting his number retired. Yep. Or no, passing over Phil's number because Phil's is being retired. I'm pretty sure that'll never happen to number 22. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're going to have a man land, well, you have to have a man who built the man land, and it's uh, it's Joe Lombardo. How are we doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Your son's having a pretty special day. I think so. This was unexpected, this part, so. This was unexpected. It's kind of fun, though. Uh, obviously, you're a huge New England sports kind of guy. That is correct. I mean, people have man caves. This is really like man land. You've got a great basement down here with every sport being represented. You have a big screen. You have a Coke machine. You have pool tables. You have pinball machines. And, and it's a great plenty of beer. And plenty of beer. <laughs> Do you grow up, obviously, in New England? I did. You grew did. up in Medford, all sports my whole life. You did. You grew up in. There's something unique about being from New England. Winters are tough, but we suck it up we and live we through them. We live through them. Yep. And uh, how did you get tied in with the uh, with the Bruins? I've been playing in the golf tournament for the last four, <laughs> five, six years in the Ray Boss Golf Tournament for the last seven years. So good guy. A very good guy. And uh, getting a lot of sports memorabilia through different auctions, Jimmy Fund auctions, and so forth. That's great. So how are you hitting them? Often. <laughs> <laughs> golf is a, golf's a game of relaxation. <laughs> yes, it is. But it's nice when uh, when the Bruins reach out and we come out here and do something like this for, I mean, your son, his friends, yep. they'll never forget. This. No, they won't. Absolutely not. It's a privilege to have Mr. Uh, Bob Sweeney, who is the director of the Bruins Foundation Development. How are you doing, Bob? I'm doing great. Pretty good. Everything's good. Uh... You know, we finished up our season. We wanted to do a little bit better, obviously, but now uh, we have lots to look forward to as far as the organization. We can get a, a great player in the, in the draft sure. this year with the second overall pick. And uh, on the foundation side, we're, we're, we stay busy year-round. A bunch of us are going to ride in the Pan Mass Challenge, which is the first weekend in August. We have a couple of small events that that feed that event for all uh, the alumni and our team members, so we're looking forward to it. It's nice, uh, you know, the Bruins are, are, are certainly part of the fabric of New England, and today Sean Thornton comes out, and a lucky fan got to meet Mr. Thornton, and uh, it's special, that's what's being part of, uh, you know, 
Well, well I think I think that's that's bred in the Bruins, you know, and I think it all started back, uh, you know, in the 50s and the 60s when you'd have guys like Fernie Flamin and Johnny Busick, the guys that were capped into the Bruins, and they 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 taught everybody what it meant to be a Bruin. And it, for my generation, you know, it went from uh, Terry O'Reilly and then to Ray Bork as being my captain. Uh, and I think everybody just learned and, and passed the torch, so to speak. And I think uh, it's important that we still do that today. And, and a guy like Sean Thornton, he does uh, so much in the community, and uh, we're happy to have him on the team. We were affected this year. The whole hockey community was affected with uh, Matt Brown, who was paralyzed, a uh, hockey player from Norwood. So I think everybody rallied, rallied around to, to support him, not only financially uh, on the foundation side, but from players like Patrice Bergeron, uh, going to visit him in Children's Hospital in Boston, but then following up when the team was in Atlanta to uh, monitor his progress. And it's things like that that uh, really resonate with, with people, and, and our, our players, I think, get it. And, and I know I get it because I'm uh, now involved in, um, in fundraising through a tragedy in my life. Uh, I lost my sister-in-law on 9-11, and I, I basically came together with a friend of my brother's, and we uh, raised a lot of money for, for Mass 9-11 and for my brother's kids, and this opportunity came up with the Bruins, and I jumped on it, and it, and it makes me feel good to, to know that we're helping out uh, different uh, organizations, different kids like Matt Brown, and, and making a difference in the community. You got to play professional hockey, which is a dream. Yep. Now you get to go to work at the garden, yep. Yep. you get to hang out with you know, Cam Neely, yep. and uh, you get to kind of be a mentor for the young Bruins that are coming up through the system. Where can people uh, find out? You can go to the, the Bruins site in general and you can click on the community and we have tabs for the foundation and all the events that we do. So, um, you know, we're, we're busy year round. We got a lot of stuff coming up for the summer. So uh, we're looking forward to a busy summer, and before you know it, we'll be back on the ice. A lot of great things going on with the Boston Bruins. It's going to be a short summer. The Bruins will be back in no time. I want to thank you personally for coming out today. My pleasure. It's right. Bob Sweeney on Grill Seekers. And when we come back, it's Juicy Tips from the Grill with that big, bad Bruins bruiser guy, Sean Thornton, and special guest, Kyle Lombardo, and that big, beer-battered Grill Seekers guy, Big Grill Johnny. It's Juicy Tips from The Grill, up next. Juicy Johnsonville Sausage, made with only premium cuts of pork since 1945. Johnsonville, sausage is all we do. Hey, I'm Mike Pettit. And I'm Big Grill Johnny. Hey, do you like food? Do you like having fun? Then you need to get with the Grill Seekers guy. Grill Seekers host Michael Pettit and John Croati are available for your next corporate party or event. Mike Pettit's an accomplished comedian who's appeared on Comedy Central, and his impersonations are just perfect. I'm a Red Sox fan, buddy. Huh? Never gonna go tired here. There's a ground ball back to Keith Lockie on the hands over McCabe, and the Red Sox have won baseball's World Series for the first time in 86 years. And John Croati is an accomplished chef who always brings the sizzle. The creaminess of the cheese, a little spice from the chipotle, a little salty crispiness from the outside, and the tenderness of the steak. Oh, so good. So for your next corporate party or event, get with the Grill Seekers guys. Go to grillseekers.com and just grill us. Food, fun, and culture. Hey, if you're serious about grilling, then you need to get with Denny Mike's. Denny Mike's sauces and rubs, all natural, no fillers. It's all good and it's all gluten-free. So check them out at Denny Mike's, DennyMikes.com.